fossils? Do you want us to leave, John? Just, uh, oh! Ooh. Oh my god, there's <gasps> teeth! So, here's what we're looking for. In a sense, it's a closely related species. This this is a curled up one. These are the the two that Dr. Moreau found. We sifted one of these will show up. If we got ten of these, we'd be in heaven. Here's what they look like when they're flat and not rolled up. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So this is what we're looking. For. These are the animals. They look so, like so. What are they called? Trilobites. Oh, if we're lucky, if we want to, we can go up and find some rocks and split them and find some early plant forms. Okay. And these are the ones, you know, that form the great coal deposits that pollute our environment today. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the area that we're heading to? It's the McCoy, McCoy um, Bond area. Okay. Are you going to investigate the ghosts? Yeah, I brought some stuff, yeah. Did you really? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, our mission today is to find some fossils near a couple ghost towns on the western slope of the Rocky Mountains in Colorado and investigate a little bit of paranormal while we're there. There's some cemeteries and old towns, so there's always a possibility of some creepy crawlies in the night. The giant water wheel? And a giant water wheel. We're here in Vail. We just uh, stopped for lunch. Parked next to a copper car. Pretty cool. We're, we're, we're getting pretty close to Bond. Bond's the first, first little uh, ghost town we'll come across and just north of Bond is the um, road cut that we're going to do some sifting, looking for the little curled trilobites. We think we are arrived. I'm going to go see if I can see any fossils weathering out any place along here. You find fossils? Yeah, I think so. No, yeah, that's just lava. Is it lava? Yeah. It's cool. It is. Come over, come over here. What you got? You can't tell if it's like a, I think it's like some little critter or something. Oh yeah, it's definitely bone. Oh, Ooh. oh my God, there's <gasps> teeth. You oh know God, what this what is? Is that a cat? No, 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 no. What no. is it? Is it a cat? No, I think it's some kind of like groundhog or woodchuck. What is that? Oh my God, that's so weird. Ew. <laughs> That's crazy. That's literally off his face. Oh, oh man. <laughs> what do you think of that? Roadkill? Roadkill. So we're trying to find the spot, but we're Dad's not finding anything. Yeah. There's a couple of these really weird. There's another one. What this? They're different. They look kind of quartzy. Yeah. But, uh, they're all like kind of smooth though. Let's ask the rock man. What's shape. this? Huh? What's this? Yeah, a piece of quartzite. Huh. I thought it would just be easy. It's not like the way you described it. That was a big snake. Oh, really? I think you hit it. I could see him in the side mirror going back, but I couldn't tell if he got hit or if he was injured. Maybe this is a... This looks almost like a wife. Come on, oh, back yeah. and look at the snake. I wonder if I got it on camera. You're the heck out of me. Sorry. Is this it, you think? These are ripple marks right here. I don't know what that is. You know, in the ocean, you see ripple marks in the sand. 
a single fossil. Yeah. Did you just burp? No. No, I didn't burp. Hey. Yeah. I burped. I know. Try three. The wild goose. The chase is on. See the yucca blooming up there. It's also a cactus. Yeah, but the cactus and yucca. Hi. So, the so metal building on just to the left of the metal building. I'm gonna try to talk to people at their crazy. house. He's crazy. He's like peeking in. I know. This is <laughs> insane. So we found the cemetery. Yeah. We're going over there somewhere. We're gonna walk up in there. I get hot. Find a spot? No. So we're up here. And the car is there. This is a very nice spot. Oh. It kind of looks like an old screw. Yeah. <laughs> laying on top there? Yep. But no, I mean, when we, there were crinoid stems everywhere where we were. Is this what we're looking for? Crinoid what? stems? What? Is that what we're looking for? Yeah, we find those, that's where the trilobites would be. Oh, okay. So we're looking around for the fossil site right now. Things have changed a lot, I guess, since we've been here before. Um, we're gonna keep scouting. I think we might head over to the cemetery here and see what we can stir up over there. It doesn't feel very creepy to me. Not in the middle of the day. Just trying to sense the fossils from afar. Okay, we're here at the cemetery, McCoy Cemetery. I'm going to drive over and look at a spot a little further that way. Okay. Got the uh, REM pod warming up. I'm going to break out the Obulus 5. All right, if there's any spirits here, in the cemetery. Could you please come near these devices? Um, they'll make noise so we'll know you're here. Frederick Stone Street, we're near your grave. Are, and are you or any of your uh, neighbors here? Can you come talk to us? Um, if there's anybody here, can you tell us your name? Where are you? Do you like fossils? I get the vibe, it's pretty dead to me. Ooh. 
<laughs> wow. Pretty young. That's a bold statement, Anna. Yeah. The cemetery is dead. Well, this has been my experience with cemeteries is most of the time, not a whole lot going on. Uh, yeah, a large pizza with, aren't you hungry? The wind. All right, we have the Obulus Five here. We're going to take it around, see if anybody wants to talk. Deal. Deal. Do you want to make a deal? Someone from the Adams family here. Do 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 do. Mad diction. Mad. <laughs> Sounds like a rapper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jay Z, is that you? Jay -Z. That's kind of creepy. There's like a creepy. glass or plastic pane. Well, it's something underneath it. It looks, it looks like, like, a like a wreath. A wreath. An old wreath. What are these little markers about? I don't know. Can you tell what they say? It looks like there's a picture inside, but it's all worn out. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe people that didn't want to pay for a whole headstone. Salaran. What is it? Salaran. S A L I R A N. Salaran? Is there a Salaran here? How did you die? I feel like it was pretty quiet when we came, but now there might be something. Doesn't it feel a little different now? It feels a little different now. I think so too. Is that the flag? Did you hear that? I hear it. There's a banging sound coming from back here. That wasn't there before. Hold on. Listen, hold on, listen. I thought it was the flag. Fresh one. Oh, it's this. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Yeah. John, well, Maybe we're we gonna, leave. yep, we're gonna leave you in peace. Uh, thank you for communicating with us. Sorry to disturb you. You have a, a beautiful uh, area here that you're laying in. So we're fairly certain. No, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that we made contact with John Franklin Shue. John Franklin Shue. And I'm pretty sure he wants us to leave. <laughs> Rest in peace, John. Finally at the site. Are you looking at me? It looks like the camera's not. Am I in the frame? Yes. Okay, so we're finally at the site. I walked along the ledge here, and this seems to be like the most fossil information. I can see you know, pieces of shell. Push the red button. Yes, and now that where it said where it was green up top, now it's red. Okay, I can find little pieces of brachiopods and stuff in this shell. So this is where we'll do our work. We got a couple of cracky pots here. So the whole trip was worth it. We found one of the members of our team on the second day, found a uh, complete trilobite. It's a little damaged, but it'll be great for science. It's not enrolled. It's the first one that's been found here that wasn't rolled up, uh, and it's quite large. I'm still thinking about that. A little wood 
chuck face. Creepy crawlies in the night. The Jan water wheel. The Jan water wheel.